The Iditarod, often called the last great race, cannot be compared to any other event in the world. With more than a thousand miles from Anchorage to Nome, finishing this race is a remarkable accomplishment, one that two ASD teachers are about to undertake. And one, two, eleven, and... Begich Middle School band teacher, Philip Walters, looks for creative ways to engage students by combining his instruction with what he learns on the trail. My students are starting to get pretty excited about it. They, I, for the most part, the Iditarod thing is kind of a secondary thing to what we do in, on a regular basis in class. Um, I try to incorporate some Iditarod lessons in there, talk about how uh, sled dogs and sled, sled dog teams are very similar to a band. Brian Bierce is an early literacy coach at Abbott Loop Elementary School. One of my favorite things about mushing dogs is uh, it really ties back to education, the fact that I get to watch these dogs go from puppies and teach them and watch them grow and develop and learn. And then with Iditarod, being able to see them cross that finish line, that's, that's like graduation for these guys. And be able to celebrate with them and watch them uh, learn through that process is just tremendous. He'll be mushing his good friend Karen Hendrickson's dog sled team after she was injured in November. The main thing about this run is it's not my Iditarod run. Um, I'm going to be one on the sled. Um, but this is really Karen Hendrickson's run. Um, it's going to be her dogs, it's going to be her race plan. Um, this is all about you know, taking this adversity that she's been put through with this car accident and, and being able to overcome that adversity. And um, for me, getting out there on the trail with her dogs and getting them to the finish line, that's a way of pushing through that and making something positive happen out of it. The 2015 Iditarod race starts on March 7th. Help us cheer on our ASD mushers by using the hashtag ASD Iditarod.